Hello, Matt here from chemistrystudent.com. In this video, we're going to look at amino acids and how they form Zwitter ions. We're going to talk about what amino acids are, their acidic and basic properties, look at how they form Zwitter ions, and why they are optically active. Amines and proteins have been covered in separate videos. Check the links in the description below. Before we talk in detail about amino acids, there are a few essential ideas you need to be comfortable with. Amines are a group of organic compounds that derive or come from ammonia, NH3. They have a nitrogen in with a lone pair of electrons that can act as a base and accept H ions. Carboxylic acids are a class of organic compounds that contain a carbonyl group, C double bond O, and a hydroxy, OH group, on the same carbon atom. They are able to act as weak acids and partially dissociate in solution, forming carboxylate ions. According to the bronsted lowry definition, acids are proton donors and bases are proton acceptors. pH is a scale used to represent the concentration of H plus ions in a solution and can be considered a measure of acidity and alkalinity. A solution with a pH below 7 is acidic and the concentration of H plus ions or protons in the solution is greater than the concentration of hydroxide ions. A solution with a pH above 7 is considered alkaline and the concentration of hydroxide ions in the solution is greater than the concentration of H plus ions. Recap done. Let's go. Amino acids are a class of organic compounds that all have an NH2, amine group, and a carboxylic acid, COOH group. There are naturally occurring amino acids that all have the same basic structure, with the amine and carboxylic acid groups at each end, with a different R group bonded to the central carbon. This central carbon is sometimes called the alpha carbon. The simplest amino acid is glycine and has only a hydrogen as the R group in its general structure. The amine and carboxylic acid groups enable amino acids to join together in condensation reactions, forming dipeptides when two amino acids join together and polypeptides when lots of amino acids join together forming a long chain. In nature, this enables the formation of proteins, essential macromolecules in all living organisms. As amine groups are basic, amino acids can accept H plus ions, and as carboxylic acids are acidic, amino acids can also donate H plus ions. Meaning amino acids have something of a split personality and can both accept and donate H plus ions. Because of this, they exist in solid state and in neutral solutions as something called a Zwitter ion. A Zwitter ion is a compound that has a full negative and positive charge somewhere in its structure and yet has no overall charge. To form a Zwitter ion, there is an internal acid-base reaction in an amino acid. The carboxylic acid group will lose a H plus ion and the amine group will accept a H plus ion. As a result, the carboxylic acid group will end up with a negative charge, a carboxylate ion group, and the amine group will end up with a positive charge, a positively charged NH3 plus ammonium group. Both of these groups now have a full ionic charge. However, as they are both 1 plus and 1 minus, they cancel each other out and the molecule has no overall charge and so can be referred to as a Zwitter ion. If placed into a solution that contains hydroxide ions, so an alkaline solution, the NH3 plus part of the Zwitter ion will lose a H plus ion and act as an acid, reacting with the OH minus ions to form water. Most importantly though, the amino acid will no longer be a Zwitter ion as the ammonium group will have lost its positive charge and becomes NH2 again, meaning the molecule now has an overall negative charge from the carboxylate group. 
If, however, the Zwitter ion is placed in an acidic solution, so one that contains H plus ions, the carboxylate COO minus part of the Zwitter ion will accept a H plus ion and act as a base, reforming a carboxylic acid group, COOH. Again, the molecule is no longer a Zwitter ion, as it has lost that negative charge in its structure and now has an overall charge of 1+. From the NH3 plus ammonium group. This shows us that amino acids can exist in three forms, all depending on the pH of the solution they are in. For example, in an acidic solution with a low pH, the amino acid alanine exists as a positively charged ion. In a neutral solution, it exists as a Zwitter ion, and in an alkaline solution with a high pH, it exists as a negatively charged ion. The exact pH at which either the carboxylate group of a Zwitter ion accepts a H plus ion, or the NH3 plus group releases a H plus ion, is different for different amino acids. This is all because different R groups affect the acidity of the carboxylic acid group and the basicity of the amine group differently. The more acidic the acid group is, the lower the pH of solution needs to be for the carboxylate ion to accept a H plus ion back again and reform the acid group. The weaker the acid group, however, the less acidic the solution needs to be, meaning it can accept a H plus ion at a slightly higher pH. This kind of makes sense. A stronger carboxylic acid group doesn't really want to take the H plus ion back, meaning a high concentration of H plus ions and low pH is needed to force it to take a H plus ion and reform the acid. Equally, a weaker carboxylic acid group can easily be forced to take a H plus ion back, meaning it can happen with a lower concentration of H plus ions and a slightly higher pH. It's the same story for the amine group. If the amine group has a high basicity, that means it easily accepts H plus ions. And if it does easily accept one, it isn't going to want to let it go either, <laughs> meaning it takes a high concentration of OH minus ions to force the ammonium group in a Zwitter ion to give up a H plus ion and reform the NH2 group, compared to an amine group with a low basicity. This is why different Zwitter ions will release H plus ions from the NH3 plus groups at different pHs in alkaline solutions. This also means that Zwitter ions form at different pHs for different amino acids. The pH at which the amino acid forms a Zwitter ion and exists with no overall charge is sometimes referred to as its isoelectric point. As a final note, naturally occurring amino acids have a chiral centre and can rotate monochromatic plane polarised light. This is because the central carbon in an amino acid, often referred to as the alpha carbon, has four different groups bonded to it, with the exception of glycine. This means there are two possible ways of arranging the groups bonded to it, each being an enantiomer that will rotate plain polarised light in opposite directions. As a result, naturally occurring amino acids are optically active. Optical isomerism has been covered in more detail at chemistrystudent.com. Check the links in the description below. So, to summarise. Amino acids are a group of compounds that all have the same general structure with a carboxylic acid group and an amine group. In a neutral solution and in solid state, amino acids exist as Zwitter ions with a negatively charged carboxylate group and positively charged ammonium ion group. There is no overall charge. In alkaline solutions, amino acids exist as negatively charged ions because the ammonium group from its Zwitter ion loses its extra H plus ion to react with OH minus ions, leaving behind the negatively charged carboxylate ion and now a neutral NH2 amine group. In acidic solutions, amino acids exist as positively charged ions, as the carboxylate ion is forced to accept a H plus ion if the pH is low enough. 
the carboxylic acid group becomes neutral and the ammonium NH3 plus group is still positively charged. The exact pH at which a Zwitter ion forms in solution is different for different amino acids, as the strength of the acid group changes depending on the R group in the amino acid. And when this point is reached, it's called the isoelectric point. This means it takes a different pH to force the carboxylate group to gain a H plus ion. The basicity of the amine group also changes based on the R group. At just the right pH, the carboxylic acid group will lose a H plus ion in solution and the amine group will hold a H plus ion and a Zwitter ion will form. Apart from in glycine, the central alpha carbon atom in an amino acid has four different groups bonded to it, meaning it is a chiral center. This means amino acids can have optical isomers and each isomer rotates plane polarized light in opposite directions. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the links given in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and revision materials. Thank <sniffs> you.